age of noble times to Mary, and, and she, she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Thou Mary, for grace the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray Holy for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Thou Mary, for grace the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Thou Mary, for the grace of is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so find this cross of passion may we come to us in glory of his resurrection, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Species may domine his of who at Mundabur, the Vabis may super nibem de Gambabur, Miseri may deus secundum magnum misericordiam tua. Gloria patri filio et spiritu is santo, sicuderat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula secutorum. Amen. As species may domine his of who at Mundabur, the Vabis may et super nibem de Gambabur. Ossed in nobis domine misericordiam tua. Et salutare tuum Deus, Domine exaltatione mea, et clamo meo sancta et venia, Dominus vobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, orrebus. Exaltinos, Domine sancti pater omnipotente et aere Deus, et mitere dinieri sanctum angelum tuum de celis, qui custodi et fobi ad protega ad visite et atque defenda, omnes habitantes in hoc habutaculo, pe Christum Dominum nostrum, Amen. Amen.
Figlio Deo Onnipotenti, Beate Maria Sempre Vigini, Beate Mecani Arcangelo, Beate Mare Marchisse, Santi Sopposto di Spettro e Paolo, Onnibus Santi Seti di Madre, Qui a Verdà Vinini Scoscazione e Vevo e Popole, Mea Culpa, Mea Culpa, Mea Massima Culpa, E io prego Verdà Maria Sempre Vigini, Beate Mecani Marcangelo, Beate Mioane Battista, Santo Sopposto lo Spettro e Paolo, Omne San Forse Te Padre, Orvare con me, Deus aduva me, e dominus suscepto rest anime me, e verte mal inimicis me, et in veritate tua disperde ilos, protecto meus domine. Deus in nomine tuo salvo me pac, et in petute tua libra me. Gloria patri, filio, et spiritu e santo, sicur de atri principio e nunc et sempre, et in secula seculorum agen. E ce Deus aduva me, e dominus suscepto rest anime me, Averte mal inimicis me, set in veritate tua disperdi los protector meus, Domine. Kyria eisen, Kyria eisen, Kyria eisen, Christa eisen, Christa eisen, Christa eisen, Kyria eisen, Kyria eisen, Kyria eisen. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Et in erro pax hominibus vole voluntatis, adamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gracias agimimus, divi parote magnum gloriam tua. Domine Deus rex celestis, Deus Pater Onipotens, Domine Filiu Regerite, Iesu Christe, Domine Deus Aulius Dei, Filius Patris, qui tales peccato mundi in misevere nobis, Qui tale speccato mundi suscita et deprecazione nostra, i sede se dexeram patris miserere nobis. Quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, con santo spiritu in gloria dei patris. Amen. Paxo vobis, et cum spirito tuo. Orde, Patre, ad aures misericordiae Tue, Domine precibus supplicantium, et ut pretensibus desideratu concedas, pagheus quetibis sunt placita potulare, per Domino nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium Tuum, qui Tecum vive da regna ad unilitati spiritus sancti Deus, per ogni secula seculorum. Amen. Orde. Da nobis raesimus anipotens Deus, vitior nostrorum clamasi singuere, qui beatu laurentio tribuisti domentorum su ordem incendia superare. Sanctorum apirum tuorum Tibetzi e Susanne nos domine propria in continuata presidia, qui a non desinis provizius in tueri, vos talibus auxilias concesseris adiubati. Per domino nostrum Iesum Christum Filium tu, qui teicum vivo da regna ad umanitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per ramia secula seculorum. Amen. Ordebus. Acuntis nos caesimus domini mentis e corporis difendi periculis, et in decidente e beati di gloria ossi sebi virgine e de genetrice Maria, cum beato Iosef e beati sepostis tuis petro et paolo e que beati scut mani tuir figli et omnibus santis. Salutem nobis trigo e beninus e pace, mutis luxis a precisasi bus et rolibus e nebesis, e ecclesia tuis secure tibi servi e debitate. Per riundum domino nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, e dei con vivo da regno ad un'elitati spiritus santi Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. 
Lexi pistol viatsi pauli postia Corinthios. Fratres, non simos concupiscentes malorum sicut et dili concupierunt, neque et olotare ne ficia venis sicut quida vex ipsis, que man modum scritum est, sed il populus maducari et vivere et surexerum ludere. Neque fornicemur sicut quida vex ipsis fornicaci sunt et et circi, Cegiderunt una di vigenti trila mia. Neque tentemus Christum sicut quida meorum tentaverunt et asvensibus perierunt. Neque mum raverici sicut quida meorum mum murmur maraverunt et perierunt ab exterminatore. Ec autem omnia in figure contigei bandilis, scriptus sunt autem et correpsionem nostram, quas fine seculorum devenerunt. Et aque qui se esistim ad sale, videat ne cadat, tentatio vos non apprehenda nisi humana, fidelis autum Deus est, qui non patio et ur vos tentari supra it quod potestis, sed facit etiam cum tentazione proventum, ut positi sustenere. Deo gracias. Domine Deo minus doste, quam admirabile es nomen tuo minu universa terra, Quodiam elevatum est magnificentia tua super celos. Alleluia, alleluia! Eripi me de nemicis meis, Deus meus, et ab insurgentibus in me libra me. Alleluia! Dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tuo, sequentio sancti vangelii secundum duca. Gloria a ti, Domine. E nilo tempore, come propinquare di Jesus Jerusalem, videm di civitatem, plevit superi lampi cenis. Que si corofisis est tu, et quitem in hac die tua, que ad pacem tibi, non cautem ex gaudita e sonta boculis tuis. Que veni a dies in te, e cecum dabum te, e mici tui vago, e cecum dabum te, e tu ad multo stabum te, undique, ed et eram prosternent te, et filios tuus, qui in te sunt, e non relinquent in te lapidem super lapidem. Eo quod non cognoveris tempus visitationes tue. Et in presus in templum, cepe di icere, vendentes in ilo et ementes dicendis. Scriptum est, qui ad omus, dom ea domus orationis est, vos aut efecistis ilam spellucan latronum, et era docens codidie in te. On this ninth Sunday after Pentecost, the epistle is taken from the first letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Church at Corinth. Brethren, we were not to set our hearts, as some of them set their hearts, on forbidden things, you were not to turn idolatrous, as some of them did, so we read, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to take their pleasure. We were not to commit fornication, as some of them committed fornication, when 23,000 of them were killed in one day. We were not to try the patience of Christ, as some of them tried it, the men who were slain by the serpents. Nor were you to complain, as some of them complained, till the destroying angels slew them. When all this happened to them, it was a symbol. The record of it was written as a warning to us in whom history has reached its fulfilment, and it means that he who thinks he stands firmly should beware of a fall. I pray that no temptation may come upon you that is beyond man's strength, not that God will play you false, he will not allow you to be tempted beyond your powers, but the temptation itself, he will ordain the issue of it and enable you to hold your own. And the Holy Gospel today is the continuation of that according to St. Luke. At this time, as Jesus drew near Jerusalem and caught sight of the city, he wept over it and said, Ah, if thou couldst understand above all in this day that is granted thee the ways that can bring thee peace, as it is, thy, as it is they are hidden from thy sight. The days will come upon thee when thy enemies will fence thee round about and encircle thee and press thee hard on every side and bring down in ruin both thee and thy children that are in thee, not leaving one stone of thee upon another and all because thou didst not recognize the time of my visiting thee. Then he went into the temple and began driving out those who sold and bought there. It is written, he told them, my house is a house of prayer, and you have made it into a den of thieves. 
and he taught in the temple daily. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Her historic uh, places of worship around the country have taken to making of themselves spectacles for the people. Whilst, indeed, they may have been motivated by good intentions, what they have done, or what they are doing, uh, will not bring about what they suggest and they hope will happen. For those of you unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, you may or may not know that certain cathedrals around the country have introduced uh, novelties uh, to encourage foot flow into their precincts. So, for example, uh, the Cathedral at Norwich uh, has installed a helter-skelter in the nave. Uh, Rochester Cathedral has installed a novelty golf course or crazy golf course in the nave and contrary to a false uh, report uh, Westminster Abbey has not uh, in, uh, installed a zip wire uh, that's floating around Facebook ignore that it's untrue however <coughs> of course the justification that the various uh, clergy responsible for those places have given is that it is to entice people to come and visit the building. Literally, they are hoping that by encouraging more people to go into the building, uh, that they will be touched by God. However, as anyone uh, with any common sense uh, will have observed in something like the past 200 years, when these places of worship, when these cathedrals, with their beautiful acoustics, have hosted hundreds and hundreds of concerts uh, and various uh, other uh, more tasteful uh, entertainments, uh, they are not full to brimming with those who have been touched by God simply because they went into the building. If that were true, imagine the number of conversions that would take place every year of all the tourists that go through our historic cathedrals. And of course, of all those who have ever attended the various concerts. The truth is, my brothers and sisters, that such uh, efforts, such attempts, will not, uh, will not win uh, souls. Uh, instead, they will simply diminish uh, those places as places of worship. Uh, indeed, they, they will make them more difficult for people to regard them with any sense of awe or reverence or respect. It's going to be very difficult for anyone so moved to pray, having done the Helter Skelter, to find a place of quiet and silence in such a sanctuary, uh, which will be filled with, uh, admittedly, the joyful, perhaps, laughter and screaming of children and adults who should know better, who are otherwise throwing themselves down the slide. And the truth of the matter is, is that what we have known for centuries in the church is that these sorts of things, well, in fact, there is only one sure method to bring people to Christ, to bring people into the church. Spectacles such as those uh, that they are utilising will not work. The only thing that works is personal interaction, is personal invitation. Is heart speaking to heart, as the soon to be canonized uh, John Henry Newman had as his motto. It is only by Christians being prepared to give an account of that hope which is in them to others that others may be persuaded to come and know the Lord. These gimmicks, which is really all they are, are sadly uh, nothing but uh, secularised, com or rather commercial secularised ideas about uh, how to generate uh, interest or how to generate footfall. And such considerations really uh, have no place with regard to our churches and our cathedrals. While we are indeed uh, admonished by our Lord as we were last week uh, to keep our secular friends close indeed 
to utilize and use something of their wisdom at the same time we must not allow such to obfuscate or cloud our mission and purpose which is of course to make known the living Christ now fair enough these cathedrals need to generate income and I think that probably is where uh, the or origination of these novelties uh, stems from and here of course then is why today's uh, the, the end of today's gospel is so appropriate it is written he told them my house is a house of prayer putting aside for one minute the uh, potential commercial or otherwise uh, profits of such ventures the key part here is my house shall be a house of prayer. Our historic cathedrals and churches were built first and foremost as houses of prayer. Yes, indeed, they were built uh, by rich benefactions, uh, by people who wanted to leave a mark uh, on the landscape as much for the glory of themselves as for the glory of God. But the point is that even to do it, they had to glorify God first. My house shall be a house of prayer. As we have reflected before, yes, God is everywhere. Yes, we can interact and pray with him anywhere and everywhere. But from the time of Moses uh, through to the present day, chosen people of God have always had a place in which they might focus their attention on God. Indeed God himself instituted the Ark of the Covenant. He instituted the Tabernacle. He instituted the Temple. And he did so such so, rather, that his chosen people would be aware of his presence among them. When the wandering Israelites carried around the Ark of the Covenant, it was so. They knew that God was with them. When they found the promised land and built the temple and enshrined the Ark in the temple, it was so that they would remember that God was with them. And likewise too, in the church today, in chapels, oratories, cathedrals, all around the world, a place is made for God's presence. In the Catholic and Apostolic churches, we have the tabernacles to be found on the high altars wherein, like the Ark of the Covenant, is to be found the presence bread. Except that this bread, of course, is the new manna from heaven. Not that old manna that gave, was given to the Israelites, but the new manna, which is the very essence and presence of God in Christ in the sacrament of his love. It ought to be a source of comfort and consolation for Orthodox Catholics everywhere to know that they can walk into a town or a village and find a church or a chapel or a cathedral or a basilica and know that God's presence is honoured there, that a place and a space has been made for God's presence there. of course conversely for us as Christians we ourselves are to be living sacraments in the sense that 
we ourselves are called to convey and display God's love made manifest in Christ through us. Whilst we may receive sustenance and nourishment in the Holy Communion, what we also do is become one with God. We become imbued with his presence, such that we become like the Virgin Mary during her pregnancy, arcs of the Most High God. We ourselves become tabernacles of the living presence of God. And when we leave after Mass and go out into the world, it's as if we were living, breathing, walking tabernacles of God the Most High. For in that moment of Holy Communion, the image of God that is in us has been restored, has been perfected. And we should leave Mass striving to maintain that perfection, otherwise utilising the various blessings and sacraments and sacramentals that Holy Church has established in order to top us up with sanctity, or indeed to heal and restore us to a place of wholeness and holiness. Holy Mother Church, during these next uh, few Sundays, will continue to highlight to us the difference between the children of the world and the children of God. As we reflected the other day, by virtue of our baptism, have we been made, recognised, acknowledged as the children of God. We have been consecrated and set apart through the regenerative waters of baptism so that we are a royal priesthood a nation set apart we are no longer like the children of the world we are no longer children of the world but we are the children of light we are the children of heaven we are citizens of the kingdom of God and the kingdom of God is to be found within us until such time as his kingdom comes in the new heaven and the new earth. And this, my brothers and sisters, is a really important and basic principle, a fundamental understanding of what it means to be a Christian. This is why Contemporary efforts to try and make the church more acceptable or more approachable to the world are false and vain and have nothing to do with the gospel. We are not called to blend with the world. We are not called to adopt the world's ideologies and attitudes and approaches and ways of being. But rather, we are to become God's way. We are to show God's way. We are to live God's way. And we are to share God's love. We should not, my brothers and sisters, be able to blend into the crowd of the children of the world. Rather, we should shine out in stark contrast. Whilst we indeed meet our neighbours where they are or where we find them. Like our Saviour, we should not leave them without attempting to enable them to be changed and transformed into a child of God. 
in every interaction with others. We should be striving to make God's will known. And that is for the other to know him, to love him, to serve him, and be happy with him in this life and in the next. We should strive that everyone after meeting us has felt something, has been touched by, has something to take away with them with the knowledge of the love of God and particularly of the knowledge of God's love for them. Let us strive, my brothers and sisters, let us try, just as we reflected yesterday in the Catechism, the saints are admired by the Church, yes, because we are certain they have attained heaven, because of the efficacy of their intercession for us here on earth, but because they did not reach or attain that absolute perfection in this life, but they strove continually for it. So should we, my brothers and sisters, sinners striving to be saints, remembering that every saint has a past and every sinner a future with God, who is Father, Son and Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Corredo <coughs> in unum deum, patrem omnipotentem factorum celia tele, visibilium omnium et invisibilium, et in unum dominum Jesum Christum filium de unigentum, et ex patre nantem ante omnia secula, Deum de Deo, Deum de Deo Lumine, Deum Verum de Deo Vero, genitum non factum consustantialem patri, pequem omnia factus sunt, Qui prote nons homines ob prote nosum salutem descendi de celis, et incarnatus est de Spiritus Sancto ex Maria Virgine, et homo factus eis. Crucifixus et sia prenovis o Pontio Pilatum falsus e sepultus eis, et resurrecti tersi et die secundus gescuras, et descendi in celus et de tex dam patris. E di terum venturus est con gloria unicate, vivos e mortuos, cuius renino nere finis. Et in spiritum sanctum dominum et fefificantem, qui ex patri procedi, qui con patri et filio semonadore tortum glorificatur, qui locutus est per profetas. Et unam sanctam catholicam et apostolicam ecclesia, confidio uno partisma in remissione peccatorum, et ex specto resurrezione mortuorum, et vitam venturi seculi. Amen. Un Dominus Obiscum, et con Spirito Tuo, ordemus. Justitia, Domini Recte, Letificantes Corde, Judicia, Eus Nuciorus, Supermele Tavum, Nave Servus Tuus, Custodi Te.
Colonia Secula Seculorum. Amen. Amen. Dominus Oriscum, Ecum Spirito Tuo, Sosum Corda, Alemus et Dominum, Gracias ad Amus, Domino Deo Nostro, In Nuba Justum Est, E vere Dignum e Justum et Tecum et Salutarius, Divi Semper et Tubi, Quae Gracias al Gene, Domine Sancti Pater, Un Dipotent et Tene Deus. Qui Comunicento, Figlio Tuo, et Spiritus Santo, Unes est Deus, Unes est Dominus, Non in unis, non in unis singularitati persone, sed in unis trinitati substantia, qual delem de tua gloria revelanti dei credimus hoc de figlio tuo, hoc de spirito santo, sine differenzia de scherzioni sentimus, ut in versione vera e sempre tenaeque de etatis, et in persones popretas, et in essentia unitas, et in maestate ad oretora qualitas. Quam laudat angeli, atque et angeli, cerro, in voco et serro, fin qui non cessan clamare cotidie, una voce di gentes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sagrat, pleni su cieli et terra, gloria tua, Hosanna in excessis, benedictus qui veni in nomine Domini, Hosanna in
this close to a vacant toilet? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Sei ne secula seculorum. Amen. Aixa Domini sit semper Et cum spiritu tuo. Ece, agnus Dei, ece, qui tolit peccato mundi. Domine, non sum dignus ut in te subtectum meum, se tantum dic membo et sen nabitur anima mea. Domine, non sum dignus ut in te subtectum meum, se tantum dic membo et sen nabitur anima mea. Domine, non sum dignus ut in te subtectum meum, se tantum dic membo et sen nabitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online and unable, therefore, to receive the Blessed Sacrament, we invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that Thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love Thee above all things, and I desire Thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive Thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though Thou wert already there, I embrace Thee and unite myself wholly to Thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen.
ma ducat meam carne me bibit meam sanguinem in me maget et ego in ego dicit omnes. Dominus obiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, orde Deus. Concede nos haec nobis praesimus Domine, haec digne frequentare misteria, cui al potius uius hostie, commemoratio celebratur, opus nostre redemptionis exercitur. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Fidum tu, qui tecum vive da regna ad un'unitatis ritus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum, Amen. Ordebus. Sacro bune de satias di supplices de Domine deprecamur, ut quo debite servitutis celebramus officio, intercedente beatu laurentio matire tuo, servationis tu essentiamus augmentum. Sumsimus Domine finius redemptionis eterne, quod sin nobis raismus intervenientibus sanctis matiribus tuis, Vite presentis auxilium pariter e future, per Domino nostrum Iesum Christum Filium Tu, qui teicum vive da regno ad un'unitatis solitus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Ordebus. Mundi de mundi ad nos caesimus, Domini Divini Sacramenti Mulus e Blachum, et intercedente Beater Virgine de Genetrice e Maria, Cum beatu Iosef, beatis apostolis, suis retro et paolo, et quae beatis put mani tuil fili et omnibus sanctis. Alcuntis nos rete de professas isibus ex beatos, et de fesses asibus ex beatibas. Per riundum Domino nostrum, Iesum Christum, filium tu, qui teicum vive de regna ad unenitatis solitus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tuo, item isa est, Deo gratias. In nome Domini benedictum, ex hoc nunc dusque in secula, ob vitorum nostrum, in nome Domini, cui feci cenum et terram, benedicat vos omnipotens Deus. Pater et filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Dominus Mobiscum, et un Spirito Tuo, in Ixium Sancti Evangelii, secundum Giovannem, Gloria Divi Domine, in principio ore bebum, et bebum, et apo Deum, et Deus are bebum, ho chiarato in principio apo Deum, omni primso factus sum est simso factum est nilgo factum est, in iso vita erat, in vita erat, lux haumen milus in terum, es duce, et terum, et non comprehende erum, Voi tomo vesus del cui nomeno raci umane, si veniti testimoni bu testimoni be pere du lumine, donne scredere un primum, non eriti di lux in un testimoni be pere du lumine, era lux vera, qual lumina dominem hominem veniente in lupundum, in mundo erat mulus primsum factus est, in mulus in non coniovi, in propria veriti sum non in ciuperum, qual quod autem in ciuperum de em des forestatum filius dei fieri pies qui crenti nomine eus, qui non è sanguinibus, nec volontati canis, nec volontati viris, eric deo nati sunt. Et verbum carlo factum est, et habitavit in nomis et vinimus gloria meus, gloria quasi meus genet dia pace, per in grazia e veritatis. Deo gratias. God save Elizabeth our Queen. And graciously hear us when we call upon thee. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray for thy servant Elizabeth, our Queen, upon whom thy mercy has laid the government of this kingdom. May she be given so great a measure of every virtue. Thus worthily adorned, may she turn aside from all wickedness. May she overcome her enemies and with her consort and the royal family. May she come at last in grace to thee, the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Amen.